What's up, Cindas? Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch. This, unfortunately, is going to be the episode that might take an hour long. <laughs> if you notice by how long this video takes, I'm sorry, first of all. But this is basically a requirement to 100% the game. And this is Dompe Shack, or basically Dungeon Maker, <laughs> in a way. Hey, there you are. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island, I can tell. I make little chambers based on those little dungeons. Put some chambers into a slab back there and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work? You ask? Oh, no, who knows? But I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you can use what you got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you've not done once the fin- Though you've not- you're not done once you've finished arranging it, you gotta actually adventure through it too. I'm no designer though, and I'm no adventurer either. That's all up to you. I'll make the risk worth it. Impress me and there's treasure in it for you. Alright, yes. It's gonna be a very, very long process. So, the first time I did this, it took me two hours to complete it. And the last heart pieces and a full heart container, and also the last of the uh, secret seashells are also in here as well. So, here's where we get started. So we have to have an entrance, which is de designated by the green. We have to have at least one chest in order to get a nightmare key. And the final chest will always have the nightmare's key. And you always have to have a nightmare in it. Otherwise, you can just go around the best you can. But you also have to be able to basically completely finish this dungeon. So what I'm going to do here is start with this I think but that there like I said always the last treasure chest you open will have the nightmares key unfortunately I know it kind of sucks but it is what it is so right here is gonna be a two-way up the next one is gonna be one of these threes as you can tell there are some of the nightmares in just random rooms I am gonna try my best not to pick those but I will pick that. But a chamber isn't turning from red to blue like it should, then uh, you just press Y to see why. So, there you are. It tells you basically what you've got to do. And easily enough, this one does not take much. There we go. I, I just gotta select the correct rooms here that I want. That, oop, thought I had it. And then I just need... Also, very hard to navigate this uh, room or this uh, map. Let me tell you. Let's select this one. Now, when everything is blue and that is flashing, that means you are ready to go adventuring. We have to do a total of twelve of these. We have to complete the dungeon in order to basically mark it as completed. And really, what you want to do is go through it as fast as possible. Most of the rooms you have seen before, you have all your dungeon items, everything. And it looks like you have no rupees, but you're going to get every single rupee that you get out of the dungeon. So, no worries about that. So, I've gone through the rules of this. Um, pretty much, the longest part is just doing it. So, uh, let's take care of it then. I'm going to go right here. Like I said, we have everything. Like, we have sword beams, everything. Uh, powder. Got him. Haha. And this should be Nightmare's Key. Let's see. Yes, it is Nightmare's Key. And then we go to the Nightmare, which I don't remember what they do on this one. It's a random one on the first one, but then it's whatever you want it to be after that, which a lot of times I'll just use Moldorm. Whoops. Because Moldorm is probably the easiest one to take care of. 
Just curious, cause nope, that doesn't do it. That does nothing. All right, there we go. Grab my hearts back and let's go through the nightmare door to see it is Moldorm. Hi, Moldorm. Do you want to know how easy this is? Swords or uh, swing it like that, and then just slash, and then you win. That's how easy Moldorm actually truly is in this uh, with your powered up sword, basically. And that's how you do this. It's long, convoluted, and I am so not thrilled about it. But we get chambers along the way. And all the rupees become ours at the end of it. And then he's like, oh, I got another idea. And this is where we go. So it's also going to be like, hey, you have to do this and this, you know, before you can actually do this. So like, say, like this tile right here has a treasure chest on it. That means you have to have a treasure chest on that tile, like one of these type of tiles on that spot. So yeah, it's long convoluted and I don't like it very much. I'll do, th oh, but that has a staircase. I don't want the staircase. Uh, here, we'll do this one. And then I need one right here, I think. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I think I need a four one. Yep, I need a four. Uh, best four is... Oh, I have to have a lock. This one, then. To go up. Actually, that's not bad. Let's do... That is the nightmare. And then this is the front. Oh, nope. Actually, I don't want that one as the front. My bad. Um... That one. There we go. And we're good to go. So very short, very easy to do dungeon like this. If you need items, you know, you've got them right there. But like I said, it's going to be a very, very quick dungeon, I would uh, assume. And from here, go that way. Whoop, I thought... Oh, it's, no, it's down here. I always forget that they're reversed. And all of the small keys will come in treasure chests. So you literally have to wait every single time for the treasure chest to spawn. Hey, I got a key. Or a rupee. I mean, not a key. A one rupee. Yay for me. Yeah, they love to troll you in this one. In that, they'll just give you one rupee. Easy enough. That'll open the door and gives the nightmare key. Like I said, very, very, very easy to do this. It's just takes a lot of time to do and it's very complicated at times, especially when you get into the longer and longer versions of it. It's complicated. Hiya. And done. <laughs> like I said, Moldorm is the, always the easiest one to do. All right, with that, another chamber and another challenge. So here's the thing. You could do this as you go along. The thing is, like most, oh, I was going to say, most of the dungeons uh, you have to clear in order to get everything and all the challenges. So it's really just a time waster otherwise. So what we're going to do, I think, is grab that one. That one looks good. So I have to grab one with a... In fact, we're going to do like that. So... This one's kind of complicated. So I need something like this, but with a staircase. Well, I guess this doesn't have to have a staircase. Uh, let's see. One on the uh, right. I can have a staircase. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Yeah. Okay, and then... On the bottom. Ah, oh, here we go. Perfect. Rupee room. Easy enough. Now, like I said, it does get a lot more complicated. In fact, there's one that you have to fill in the entirety of the map. I mean, it looks like a bottle, but still, it's 
Ugh, what you what you gotta do is like try your hardest in order to facilitate getting them as fast as possible. That was actually a pretty good uh, run. I also really like trying to do like linear ones like these. That way, you know, don't have to worry too much about it. I'm not gonna go into the bottom room. I really do not need the rupees, honestly. Ah, couldn't get in there, darn it. Thought I was gonna do it fast enough. Sometimes I can do it really fast. Sometimes the game is like, no, nah, not today, bro. Uh, come on, man. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's go back down the stairs again. I almost had it, darn it. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Thou shalt not get it me. Oh, go up. There we go. I don't know why he didn't want to go up there at first. I mean, I don't blame him, but still. Alright, Moldorm yet again. Yeah, we're going to be facing Moldorm the entire time, so I'll tell you what. Anytime I get to the Nightmare, I'm just going to, like, skip ahead. All right, that's a third one down, and we get yet another chamber. Yay. And another idea. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got this time? Fill up your hearts. So we have to fill up this entire thing with heart or with with tiles. So this entire dark area right here, which looks like a heart, we have to fill it in. So let's put that there. We're going to put this here. I feel like that's always like a better placement for it. But this is where it gets kind of complicated because there are so many tiles that we can use. We're going to use this. Oh, wait, I can't use that one. It has to be over here. Uh, you know what? I think we'll use this one. And then I need one that goes this. Oh, that's a staircase. I don't really want the staircase. We can do that one. That's fine. Um, then I need one that does something like this. This looks good. Okay, now I've got to have one here, which I think I'm going to use a three on. I think I'll do that one. The, this one, there. I'm going to use this one here to go up. I want a four one. That one can be the four one. And then I'm trying to figure out how I want to work this. There we go. Let's work. Do that. I still need something here, though. So we'll do this. And then we're going to try and make it to where I don't actually have to go this that way. Um, they all have chests. Ugh. Ugh. Actually, is there a 3-1 I can use? It would be like this. Yeah, I can use that one. Okay, sweet. Let's see if I can use a 2 instead. It would be like that. Yeah. Um, this will work. There we go. Perfect. Now we just got to do this side over here. Um, I mean, if I could just do that one, grab that key, and then go in, that'd be nice. Oh, wait, that's... Yeah, no, that's right. Because that's got to go there. Put that there. I need a 3-1 like this. Oh, I've got to go up here. Darn it. That's fine. I can grab... I can do that to go into there. So then go around to... The, oh, that one's not going to work. Shoot. Oh, it's because I put a 4 there. Here, let me do it like that. And then like that. Why is it? Oh, that's not working because of that. Oh. Um. Like I said, it gets very, very complicated very, very quickly here. And then I need one. Oh, man. I'm going to have to go up there. I want one that's easy. No. 
No. And that's easy to do. How about that one? Alright, so we got four chests. So basically if I go left from here up to here, grab that one, grab that one, and then come back in here and go this way, that would actually get it for us, so... I think that'll work. Alright, let's go. So we're gonna go left when we get out of here. And then that way, like, we could just skip most of the dungeon. Which is always a good thing for me. Especially having to deal with this. So here you can just push this. To get over here. So that's normally in Dungeon 8. But in Dungeon 8, I don't think it actually has... Or it doesn't allow you to do that. Alright, take care of that to grab a chest. So one of the chests has a key in it. I just don't know which one. That one, apparently. Okay. Then we're gonna go two screens right. Haha! -ha, got him. This one. This one's got a key or a, a chest. I mean, on the bright side, we get rupees out of it, but I mean, is it worth it? Mm, not really. There are definitely better ways of getting rupees, I will say. Let's go back, let's go up. Oh yeah, that's right, so... Hey, we got the magic powder, which is nice. Okay. So technically, you're, like I said last time, you're not supposed to be able to do that, but yet you can. And I forgot it was this room. She looks actually a little bit different, doesn't it? But it's not much different than the other one that we had to deal with in Dungeon 8, so... There we go. And another chest. Is that another key? Nope. Five rupees. Woohoo. A whole five. Just what we always wanted was five rupees. Grab this, which is the Nightmare Key. And... let's... Get out of here. Oh, I have to I have to knock him off. Oh crap. There we go. Yay! And then I should be able to jump this. Yeah. Easy enough. <laughs> I don't think they intended you to be able to actually jump that, but yet you can. And then pot to open the nightmare door. And then I'll see you at the very uh, end of this. All right, so with that complete, we get a secret seashell, the final one in the game. But not only that, we get a heart piece. And there's only one more heart piece left to get, which is at towards, I think it's at the end of this next part. So now that you see how this all works together, it, uh, yeah, it's all the same from here. Except this is gets, it, it gets a lot harder as we go along here. Especially this treasure vault. So, basically from this point on, you're just gonna see kind of the key moments. Maybe some me being stupid moments, but yeah. Nothing like too crazy. Another chamber stone. Another chamber stone. Yay. Oh, what is this? A plus bombs effect. Yay. You get to add it and you get uh, more bombs. Woohoo. All right, that one's complete. Let's see. We get another chamber. Anything else? Nope. Okay. A new idea. Oh my. What we got? 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 Oh, uh, is this one? Oh, yeah. Patches. Oh, God. Oh, I remember how hard this one is to actually create because the. Frickin' uh, staircases don't work half the damn time. And, oh, a heart, the final heart piece! Yay! That is 19 hearts now. Now, here's the thing. At the end of the third area here, we're gonna get our final heart container of the game. It's gonna take a little bit, but we will get it. There. Ah, finally. Good grief. I hate having to deal with these things. Like, I seriously, it, it sucks. That one took me 10 minutes to figure out how to set it up. 
basically. And it kind of sucked, actually. Really very surprised. I'm also kind of tired. I've been uh, exercising, so <laughs> got a little uh, tired. But, like, I just don't understand it. The main thing is I just don't understand how, like, the stairs and all that work. One day I will figure out how they work, but today will not be the day, apparently. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're here next to the chest. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -ba -bum, small key. Moving right along. Really don't need, remember if I needed the key or not, honestly. Five rupees. Actually, no, I probably did need the the, the key. Just been a little while, I don't really remember. <laughs> Actually, hasn't even been that long since I've uh, done this. I'm just bad at remembering. I really am. Like, I am horrible at remembering, like, anything. Like, my memory just absolutely sucks. It's like the memory of a goldfish half the time. And he'd be over there. Even, like, simple, like, gaming things I, for I forget. I've done that my entire life, too, so, you know, that doesn't really help either. Have I missed anything so far? Nope. Okay, cool. Roll! Ah, uh, yeah, this one. Nice. We pa pa pa. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I could take the hits, but I just didn't want to. What we got in here? All right, there's the key door. Actually, I'm trying to remember. Do I even need to do anything in here? I don't remember. Oh come on, Potaboos! Actually, kind of screwed up that that happened. I'm trying to remember, did I need- oh. So, literally I put those there for absolutely no reason. Cool! Good game design, kill. Good- good dungeon design. Best design ever created. Alright, uh... Smack. 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 Oh, there wasn't a, uh, a key in here, so I could've just went on. Oh wow, I'm very surprised I took no hits from that. Also, I forgot what I did with that. What I uh, used as the boss. One rupee! Yay for us! We did so good to get one little rupee. Yay! Gimme, give gimme, give and let me in, let me in. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I put him here. I mean, he's really not hard, so like. <laughs> he was about to, and I was like, no. Not allowed. Stuff not allowed. Actually, don't need the fairy. Oh, yeah. Uh, anything? Nope. Oh, dang it. Nothing in here, either. Uh, yeah, I need to go to the left so I can get the nightmare key. Yoink. Might as well grab the three hearts while we're there. It's... Oh, I forgot about this. It's the Nightmare Key. That was horrible, the way I just did that. Good job, Keel. You fail at everything. <laughs> you know what? I should have learned my lesson from last time. Oh my god, I'm very surprised that that worked. <laughs> Oh, yo, it looks like we're going into dungeon, like, the, the Nightmare of Dungeon 1. Because I think this is, uh, the- oh. That's who I did. I guess because I wanted something different. He's also not very hard of a boss to fight. Whoops, sometimes. Alright, now I just got that left. There we go. 
Bam, 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 bam. The boomskis. Yes. That's the first one of level three done. Another chamber stone or chamber. I keep saying chamber stones. All right, let's see here. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one where I have to fill in the bottle, but at the same time, it, it's going to be difficult. So I think we're going to do. Oh, but then that doesn't work. Ooh, actually, I tell you what, let's do the nightmare there. I kind of like the nightmare being right there, actually. Um, let's do this one, actually. We can do this one. Ba -ba -ba. All right, so I need two of these going up. Uh, and then I'm going to need two over here as well, actually. I'm going to try and uh, make it to where I don't have to go over there to that side. Boom, boom. Oh. Um, I really do want this one, actually, though. Hang on, let me let me see what we get here. We do that. Let me also put that there. That's gonna go there. Uh, it's gonna go there. Okay, so I need a three. I kind of like this one. No, because then I need a staircase, that's right. Uh, this one then. Yeah, alright, cool. Um, you could literally do a staircase there and a staircase there. Kind of make it to where this is nothing-ish. At least I'm gonna try. Yeah, so I can basically have nullified this entire area over here. And what do we got here? Okay, so that can go up from here. I can't, okay. So let's do something like, what do we got here? Nope, all good. Let's do something like this. Oh, no, I don't actually don't want that room. That's right. Uh. Oh, yeah, this one will work. And then... I actually can't use a four. Damn. That would have been the only place I could use a four. And then... Oh, no thanks. This was robes. Oh, here. We'll do a... Yeah, we'll do this one. Then that way there's a chest. Um... Let me see here. This one's got to be like this. And then on the two, I've got to use... Okay, yeah, we'll do that. And then... That one. Yeah! Crazy that you only need two stairs to actually work. Huh. Alright, so... Yeah, there's one right here. Actually, I'll grab that one last. So three hearts only in this challenge. It's going to be a little bit more on the difficult side, but at the same time, I'm going to try and go through it as fast as I can. That way, uh, I don't lose, like, too terribly much here. Small key. All right, got through that. Um, we're going to go up. Grab that, and there's another chest. Boop, 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 boop. See, I like this one where like you can nullify like half of the dungeon if you don't if you don't want to do it. Like you don't have to actually do it. Okay, let's go up. Oh. Yeah, knock him off. There we go. Push the switch to get the chest. Grab the chest, which is 20 rupees. Nice. I mean, at least one of these things is like, you never know what you're going to get in the chest, so... I guess there's a good thing on that. Uh, 
Oh, I lost my sword beams. I mean, we'll probably find another heart, so... I think I was kind of in its way. <laughs> 20 more rupees. We've been gaining a lot of rupees. <laughs> Especially on that one with the treasure chest on it. With all the treasure chests on it. That one was worth a lot. Got that. Five rupees. And then crazy enough, if I absolutely wanted to, which I am going to, I'm going to back to the very beginning. Beedee-doo! Oh, to the entrance. And that way we can just go left and left again to do the boss. Which I just realized I did not pick the best of bosses for this. Nightmare key. Okay. Getting a little faster at this. Well, I'm an hour in. Which <laughs> certainly doesn't seem like a lot, but when you've done this like twice now at this point, it's a lot. Oh uh, yeah, I chose him. Dang it. Gotta be a little careful on this one. Oh, I missed. Like I said, gotta be a little Wow, I am doing horribly. I'm surprised that actually got him. Shit. I'm not doing good on this one. Alright, three more hits. One. No, oh, I missed. Two. Three. Alright. Huh. A little close there for a minute. Nothing I can't handle, though. Ba -ba, just like a fine wine. Can't gotta handle it all. Pokemans. Wine a man! <laughs> I, what am I doing? Well, the chamber, and we get the third and final bottle. Yeah, I also forgot that the bottle was in this one, too. Alright, we're almost to the heart container. We just have to finish the rest of level three. Oh, that's right! There's no sword in this one. Alright, so I have to use this. And I can do this here. Oh, but then, uh Tell you what, we can do that. Let me think here for a second. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I want just chests that are uh Okay, I just want chests that are... Or actually, I don't even really want chests. That'll work there. Bum, ba, da, 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 da. Okay, that room will work. And then this... This room... Oh, that doesn't have a staircase. This will work. Alright, cool. And then I've got to put two... Oh, i got to put... Oh. Oh. Okay, well, first of all, that ain't gonna work. Like I thought it was going to. Um, I've got to be okay. Is this one will work? Ugh, why? Okay. Still does it. Why? Okay, that's that's just not gonna work. So, then... I've got to figure out how to get here. I know how to do it. Um, actually that might not be bad, but I don't want to do that. Okay, I need a three room. This one, preferably. Uh, that way I need to kill stuff. Uh, that one I would need to kill stuff. Actually, this one I don't need to. Or I could kill it, but... I don't have to do, like, the crazy thing with it. Okay, there's that. I should have something there. Anyway, that could be the final. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm a little worried about this, because there's... Okay, so this is very peculiar in which we do not get sword. Or sword beams, for that matter. So, is that... Oh, that does something, but not like...
There we go. That works. Really wasn't expecting them to uh, pull this out, honestly. Okay. So, if I, okay, let's... No, actually, I don't want to go that way yet. I want to go this way, because the right side will take me to the exit. Hmm. Completely honest here, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to have everything I need for this. Oh, what? Interesting. Nope. Nope, dang it. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. I really do not like this boss sometimes. Considering it's... Did I just hear... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I was like, I'm trying to grab the fairy, but it won't let me grab it. Oh. I know... I know you can break them, I just don't remember how. Uh... Maybe it's gotta be bombs. Oh, wait! Bomb arrows! Okay. Boop, 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 boop! Small key. I did actually forget about bomb arrow. Dang it. There we go. Alright. Gonna probably be using a lot of bomb arrows on this one. Oh, I don't have the... <laughs> I forgot I didn't have the, uh, the... Rock's Feather. It's also really funny watching him run instead of, uh, having a sword out in front of him. Alright. Ooh, I almost did that bad. <laughs> okay, good. I can just knock these things out with this. There we go. And then that'll give us the staircase of destiny. Loink. I was about to say that's nice, but I don't really need it. Oh, nice. Okay. Another smucky. <laughs> I just realized I'm gonna be facing that mini boss twice in this dungeon because I put it twice. How much? Okay, so we gotta go all the way down. Speaking of, missed. I actually missed. I cannot believe I actually missed. Dang it. I cannot believe that hit me either. And there. Still four hits at least. Probably should have said that in the last uh, room that we fought it in. Um, okay, straight down from here. Rush! Don't really need it. Ow. Oh. oh. What? This is one of those that they forced too. I'm pretty sure. Yep. There we go. What? There we go. It's kind of a, uh, looks like it's gonna be a back and forth type of thing here. What? Okay, why is this not working now? I don't understand what he's be going on here. There we go. Weird. I, I, okay. You know, I was doing the same thing. I just don't know why those times it worked, but the other times it didn't. 
Also gonna ride up bomb arrows here soon. Couple more bombs right there though. It's really not the bombs I'm worried about, it's more of the uh, arrows that I'm worried about. I'm gonna run out of arrows so I'm not careful. 50 rupees! Okay, now we go back up and then to the left. I mean, it really doesn't matter if we have full health or not, because we don't... Dang it. I mean, that works. Oh. Oh, I don't have the key. Uh... See, which way is it? To the left, okay. This over here is the nightmare key. Which is good, because we're running... Oh. There we go. I'm using up a lot of the bombs and arrows. Thankfully, we get all of our items back. I also don't think I actually mentioned that earlier, either. Like, we get all of our items back, so... It's not like, you know, you have to go reserved in this one. Ow. Die. Alright, now we're here. Now I feel uh, pretty good. I love how sometimes I get like four hits on him, sometimes I can't even get like one. There we go. Yay! Smack, 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 boom, 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 yay, 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 smack. Okay. Actually got to see the sword done. Alright, and another chamber stone. And was that heart's effect? Yep, so just you know, be able to get more hearts in the chamber, which I'm not all that worried about. Alright, now for the final, final one, which is definitely the hardest. We have five minutes to complete this. So I've got to make this to where I can get to the boss fast, destroy the boss fast too. So it's uh, going to be kind of interesting to see here. I think we're going to start from here. Um... So I'll tell you what, we could do something like this. I mean, there's already enough chests out there that I guess I shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Um, do that. Oh, I need to have a staircase. Okay. So we need staircases, which is good. So we're going to skip these three rooms right here and just go to here and down. And then from there, we're going to come out right here and grab that chest. Actually, no, because I don't want to waste a lot of time. Um, God, I don't want to waste a lot of time. Here we go. We'll use this one. Come into here. Uh, we'll just grab a random chest this way. And then... Bam, that's actually not too hard to do. All right, so we have five minutes. Let's see if we can do this in five minutes. And li oops, well, that's great. Good start already. All right, I can skip this little room. Okay. Going pretty fast so far. Oh, dang it. Hit that. Grab that chest and then we'll go down. Also, like, time stops when you're opening chests, so it's not a huge penalty to open up chests, which is good. I mean, we're already four minutes in, and... I mean, well, we're, I'm sorry, not at four minutes. We're 30 seconds in, and we're already onto the staircase, which is good. After like every 30 seconds it goes bloop. Oh, crap. 
I picked the wrong damn one. Actually, it's okay. This one won't take very long. Loop. There we go. Easy peasy. Question is, oh, actually, can I just move this? I can. Haha. <laughs> Oh, okay, so that just damages this. Oh, okay, I should be using an arrow then. There we go. Kill learning. Learning is difficult, Coco Colt. <laughs> oh. And yes, the time continues on this one too. I should have done a different room than this. Oh no, because this was a forced one if I remember right. Making you waste time. I mean, really, I'm not stressed for time because... I mean, literally, the Nightmare Key is like two rooms away, so... It's not like we're not gonna get it, I mean... And I'm pretty confident we're gonna finish this in like... Two and a half minutes, especially... I think I put Moldorm as the boss, so... Moldorm is definitely the quickest and easiest one. Oh. Didn't realize I picked that one. Uh, where's the chest at? Oh! I forgot there was another uh, enemy in here. Beep, 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 boop, beep, boop. Yay. Grab me the nightmare key. So we're down a minute and a half already. Nothing like too insane. Alright. Over to the nightmare door. Oh, yeah. Nice jumping. Alright, let's do Moldorm. Let's do the Moldorm today! What? Oh, well, that's not the way I wanted to happen. Oh. I just, like, touched him with the sword and he died. Uh, definitely one way to do it, but that is all we have to do for Dompe's trials and all that fun shenanigans. I'm actually kind of glad I was tired of- I'm tired of Dompe. So we get a chamber, but not only that, we get a complete heart container in the process, giving us the full 20 hearts. And a wall master effect. I'm not worried about those. And there you go. That is all of the heart containers, all of the seashells, and all of that. But we're going to start next time at the seashell mansion. That way you can actually see what the last reward for the seashells are. And after that, we'll take on the final boss. So thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up as well, letting me know that you're enjoying the content. And I will catch you next time, if the music will ever- there we go.